So we're talking about inserting additional elements into an Excel document. We just saw images. See those two little images there at the top? Very nice, more visual. Now I want to take a look at what's called Excel shapes. Through Excel shapes, we have all sorts of shapes that we can add to an Excel document. We got simple shapes like squares and rectangles and circles and pyramids, triangles, all sorts of shapes. We got arrows and banners and call out bubbles and explosions, you know, kind of star looking shapes. Now, but we got all these basic shapes that we can use to add additional content to our documents, something more visual. Now, once again, something we don't want to get too overboard on and too much clutter going on our page, but use it to enhance the document, not to distract. Unless that's your purpose. Maybe we did really crummy in sales and I'm throwing all this garbage out there just to distract people. So we could use it to do that, but still the same, keep it simple. What I'll use shapes for is to draw attention to specific areas of my document. Maybe circle areas or draw arrows to point at specific elements within my spreadsheet. Take a look. This is how you work with Excel shapes. This is another insert command. So on my insert tab, back into illustrations, I got what looks like a couple of basic shapes, square, circle, and a diamond. If I give that a click, it's going to open up my shapes menu, and you can see I got all sorts of stuff in there. Well, for me, you know what? I'm going to grab this one, this rounded corner uh, rectangle. I'll give that a click. I'm going to come out and just click and drag someplace to create a rectangle. Just left click and drag. There's my triangle. Great. I got some default formatting. It's got a light blue fill, a dark blue border around it. Uh, that's great, but what am I going to use this for? It's just a rectangle. Well, what I want to do here is I want to highlight. I want to draw a little rectangle. I'm just going to move it over here. That highlights all my totals. So I've got that, but this rectangle's got a darker color so I can't see through to my numbers. I just want to draw a rectangle around it to draw attention to those totals. So with that highlighted, I could do some additional formatting here. Up on my ribbon, top of my screen, with my shape selected, I've now got a format tab where I got all this various formatting that I can get into changing the color, changing the border, and so on. We'll take a look at those features here in just a moment because I want to see behind that box. Let's try another shape before we do this though. Let's see, where do we find shapes at? I want to draw a little arrow that points to the 66%. That's just ridiculous, right? That's, that's just too much of my income going to rent. So I want to draw a nice big fat arrow pointing to that. Draw attention to that 66%. So once again, back to insert, back to shapes, and I'm going to grab one of these block arrows. I'm going to grab this one, this left arrow. So with that selected, I'll come out here and left click and drag, and I've now created this nice little arrow pointing to that 60%. Right, you open up this document, what are you going to look at? There's an arrow pointing, right? There's a box in there drawing attention for our users. So try this out. We're going to do some formatting here in a moment. But draw a few shapes, just insert shapes, whatever you want to do there. Draw some shapes to draw attention to the content.